Today I'm gonna to teach you how I made these galaxy crepes with a glitter golden buttermilk syrup. Now all of this was for my daughter's sweet 16th birthday party and the theme was galaxy unicorn. I can't wait to show you that whole party. Now if you love recipes and you love party recipes and you love cakes, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything and let's bake some awesome. The very first thing that we're gonna do is to make the crepe batter. Now we're gonna start with some eggs and vanilla some melted butter and a whole lot of milk, half the flour, add some sugar, a pinch of salt, and the rest of the flour. Now we're gonna blend that together. Now make sure that you take a spatula and you wanna scrape down those sides really good to make sure all of that uh, dry mixture gets mixed back in and blend it some more. There are a ton of different crepe fillings out there. This one is my favorite. It's a cream cheese filling, but it has sour cream in it, so it has kind of a tart kick to it. And I love to fill my crepes with this, along with some fresh berries. Start with the cream cheese and beat it until it's nice and smooth. Then add vanilla, sour cream, powdered sugar, and beat some more. Don't forget to scrape the sides you want to beat this until there are no more chunks left. Then you can leave it in the fridge while we go on to make the buttermilk syrup. Add the butter and the sugar to a large saucepan. Add some corn syrup and some buttermilk. Then you want to stir all those components together while everything melts and gets liquidy. Make sure to bring it to a rolling boil. Now comes the fun part, the chemical reaction. We're gonna add some baking soda to this. It's going to react to everything in there and it's going to get all foamy and big for a while and then it's gonna settle back down. But this is why you wanna make sure to use a large saucepan. There's nothing worse than cleaning syrup off of a stove top. It gets so messy and so sticky. So here goes the vanilla and the baking soda and then just keep stirring until it settles. Are any of you guys ever watching videos online and you just kind of watch video after video after video after video? One of those probably led you here, right? <laughs> anyway, I was watching some food videos, some unique food videos, and I came across this video for glitter beer. Now, I don't drink, but I was mesmerized by the gorgeous swirls of the glitter, and I thought I have got to use that in something. So when I was making these galaxy crepes, I thought the syrup would be a perfect component for this. So I added two to three grams of super gold luster dust to this buttermilk syrup. Now I know it's hard to see on camera, but this turned out amazing. It doesn't have those same swirls and motion because it's not, of course, as liquidy as the glitter beer was, but uh, I love the way it turned out. It is beautiful. Now, of course, if you really want to get it to shine, you're going to have to add a lot more, but since luster dust tends to be on the expensive side, I just added everything that I had left and then I ordered some more. Now our crepe batter is ready and it's time to make our galaxy crepes. So the first thing that we're going to do is divide the batter into four bowls and then we're gonna color each one of these bowls with the four colors that I've been using for the rest of this party. Fuchsia, navy, turquoise, and violet. If you're not getting a strong enough color, don't be afraid to add a little bit more. Of course, this is why I use gel food coloring instead of liquid food coloring. It's already a lot stronger, and you can add more without fear of liquefying this too much. Have any of you guys seen those amazing mirror cakes with all of the colors? They're gorgeous. We're using the same effect here. We're going to take each of these colors and add a little bit of each color at a time to this quarter of a cup measuring cup. That's about a tablespoon of each color. Now you don't wanna mix them together. You just wanna pour them in individually. Now pour the quarter cup of batter directly into the center of a hot pan and immediately swirl the pan around until you've used that batter to cover the whole pan. Now the batter will go from shiny to dull and you'll see a few little bubbles across the top and the edges will start to peel away. Grab one of the edges, peel the crepe off of the pan and flip it over. As the second side is cooking, you'll again see those little bubbles going throughout. It should take about 40 seconds on each side if your pan is hot enough. So here's a little troubleshooting for you. When you pour your batter in and you swirl it around, if you're getting a lot of strands on the end and it's not spreading all the way, that could be because either your pan is too hot and it's cooking it really fast, in that case, turn the temperature down, 
or because your batter is simply too thick. Go ahead and add a teaspoon at a time to each of the colors before you try your next crepe and see how it goes. Now, if your crepes are taking way too long to cook, go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit. There's kind of a balance when you make the first couple crepes and finding if it's too hot and going too fast or too cool and taking too long. Once you get in a nice rhythm though, it's easy to just bang these out. Now, if you love these galaxy crepes and you wanna check out more from this party, I do have a galaxy unicorn cake right up here you can check out. And now it's time to put the crepes together. I like to put the pretty side down, go ahead and spread that tart cream cheese over the top and add all of the fresh berries that you want. Then wrap it up nice and tight, top it with a dollop of fresh whipped cream and of course our glittery buttermilk syrup. Doesn't that look amazing? So making these galaxy crepes is easier than you thought it'd be, right? So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe and follow along. And if you create your own galaxy crepes, I would love to see it. Don't forget to tag me on social media and send me your pictures and I will feature them in my Instagram stories. So it's time to dig in, my favorite part. Mm. There's not much better than crepes with that tart filling and this beautiful, delicious, golden buttermilk syrup. Now, of course, you don't have to add the glitter to yours to enjoy it. It tastes wonderful either ways, but the glitter is really fun. I wish you could see it. Uh, like, it's so much better in person than it is in video. It looks epically awesome. I love the glitter. I might just add glitter to all my syrup from now on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.